Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to do everyone's favorite video, <laughs> um, the completed pages video for January and for December. This time, two months in one, because December, I felt like didn't have enough pages. So the first book we're going to look at is Mystery Mosaics Wow Cartoons by Belva Family. And I did two in this book. So the first one is Scooby and Shaggy. And this is really cute, actually. I changed some of the colors because originally you were supposed to color Scooby orange. Like, his fur was supposed to be orange, and I changed it to um, red-brown because I thought it looked weird if it was orange. Um, but yeah, I enjoy doing this a lot. I always love Belva Family's books. And then the next one is Land Before Time. And I did this with Crayola Super Tips. The other one I did with uh, Stetler Fine Liners. And I like to use my Super Tips sometimes because I feel like it makes the picture go quicker. <laughs> that could be a total lie, but it just feels like it goes quicker. So, yep. That's Land Before Time. And I'm working on the next one as we speak, which is Mickey and Minnie. So, yeah, I like this book a lot. Next book is Color by Numbers 40 Patterns by Jennifer Rowling, a.k.a. Cactus Girl. Um, so, I did the first one in here which is peppermints. And I used Stetler fine liners and Shuttle Art fine liners. And that's it. <laughs> this is a very simple one because it only had two colors. Next book is oops dropped it color by colors fantasy women by kira shershneva and this is a new one um the other two books are new also i was gonna do a haul but i was like i colored in all of them anyway so i'll just tell you that they're new <laughs> um so i did this one which is really pretty. And I used a bunch of different alcohol markers. I used like, <coughs> excuse me, Cali Art and Artix, like at least one of every marker I own. <laughs> so, cause I was trying to get the right colors to match. I'm running out of the light purple <laughs> though, but that's okay. Um, yeah, this book might be my favorite one of hers. The next book is Stardust. This is a grayscale book. It's tiny. Forgot to mark the page, but that's okay. I've only done one page in here so far. This is a new book, too. It's by Black River Art, and it is grayscale on Amazon paper. And I did this one, and I used <coughs> Artex markers, and I used um, Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic pens. I used Bic Intensity, and I used Jelly Roll and Faber-Castell Gold Faber color pencils, and also Uniball Metallic Gold pen. But this one was really fun. I kind of messed up um, her lipstick. It looks kind of funny. The texture looks kind of funny, at least in person, because I like, 
I sme I put it this is jelly roll moonlight and I smeared I smeared it with my hand like a dummy <laughs> and I was so mad but like to cover up where I smeared it like I had to go over it like three times and so it like kind of ate through the paper a little but same thing with here like I messed up here and I tried to cover it up with white Posca oh well <laughs> she still she still came out good so it's fine <laughs> but I was like kind of frustrated though like ah stop putting your hand in on your picture that's like coloring 101 <laughs> next book is also new and it's by Sun Life Drawing and it's color by number day patterns and this is a new book from them I did this one so I followed the colors and then I put jelly roll souffle pin like I outlined it with jelly roll souffle because I got those recently and so now I have all of the jelly roll pins except for the the gray um the gray ones like the gray range of pins but I love the souffle pins they're so satisfying <laughs> and they like completely cover up black lines when they dry which is awesome it also comes with a white pin which if you ask me that white pins better than the regular white jelly roll but it's just a personal opinion <laughs> See, so yeah, I just followed the colors as best I could. I'm trying to use up more of my markers because I have too many markers, I think. Although, I don't know, can there really be such a thing? Next book is fairly new and it's by Demita Victoria. It's my first Demita Victoria book. It's called Beautiful Patterns. And I did the first one, which is this one. If you think it looks different than the one I posted on Instagram, it's because I color corrected the one on Instagram too much, so it has like this bluish tint to it, which is weird. But um I use Bic intensity markers, um, Faber Castell Gold Faber color pencils for like the gold parts and then glitter gel pen and Prismacolor cream alcohol marker for this background and then oh shoot I can't remember what I used for this light pink and then Uniball gold metallic pen for the gold around here so I think it came out really cute I accidentally messed up the next page because I started coloring without realizing I didn't have any paper behind it. So <laughs> there's like an outline of the flowers right here. Maybe I can color over it. But yeah, I really like that. It took me kind of a long time because I used all of that colored pencil. Next is a new book, which is... Kawaii Cuties Cross Stitch by Alice Mills. I I have another one of these, which is, let's see, does it say, I don't know if it says, I think it's called, like, it's not Adorable Animals, is it? Something Animals. That's going to drive me crazy. <laughs> What's it called? Oh, well, I thought it said, um, anyway, <laughs> this is color by symbol. So I started from the back this time. There is a color test page right here if you need it. And I did this one, cloud nine. And I kind of messed up because I put the dark gray right here, like, that's supposed to be purple, <laughs> light purple. Oh, well, I mean, it's not super noticeable, but it still kind of made me mad. 
It's so cute though. I love it. I love this one. Um, and actually this is the one I wanted to do first anyway, cause I love the, it's the cover and I love the cover. So I can't wait to do more. I need to do more in the other one too. So next book is Kira Shershneva's Color by Colors Pattern Animals, which is a new book. Do you see a pattern? <laughs> and I did this one, which is the cover, right? Yeah. And I love, I love how it turned out. I think it's really nice. I used all limo shade markers and one Tao Tree marker because what I had next to me at the time was just limo shade markers. So I was like, eh, instead of like going and pulling out more markers, I'm just going to use these. And it worked out, at least for this particular page. So yeah, really cute. All of the animals in here are really cute. And I love that the background pages have kind of a light pattern on them. Next book is, oh, I still have paper in this one. <coughs> coloring Chicks, Grayscale Coloring Book One by Daria, Daria Dross. I'm sorry, Daria, I can't pronounce your last name. I'm gonna have to look it up. <laughs> um. But, yep, this is a new book. And I did... By the way, this is, like, uh, the Kara Shershneva and the Alice Mills Cross Stitch have, like, the premium paper. Like, the really shiny paper. And this is a paper that's, like... In this book, the paper is in between that paper and the regular Amazon paper, like, in the Demita Victoria book. So, it's smoother, but not shiny. Um, and I did this one called Ladybirds, and I really like the way this came out. Um, I used Artex alcohol markers, and I used a glitter gel pen, and I used a little bit of colored pencil, but I can't remember what color pencils, unfortunately. Um... But yeah, I like the way she turned out. Um, I'm going to do more on this too. Like, this is a really fun book. And this didn't take me long to do at all, which is nice. Oh, wait. I remember what color pencils they were. They were Prismacolor. Like, on her face and stuff. Next book is... Worlds of Wonder by Joanna Basford, which um, is slowly overtaking the top spot from Enchanted Forest, but not quite. <laughs> I still have a soft spot for Enchanted Forest. It'll probably always be my number one. But, oh, I didn't mark this page. Hold on. Here it is. So I did this little cottage, really cute, <laughs> and I did it with, I did the cottage itself with Arteza Premium Pencils, and I did the grass in the sky with watered down gel crayon, and I did the little pots and stuff with Stetler Fine Liner. Also, the um, border is glitter gel pen, although I don't know if you can tell it's glitter. Because, yeah, you can a little. Can you kind of see it? It's um, Crayola Take Note, like the um, iridescent shimmery ones, kind of like Pentel Dual Metallic. Um, but there's only four in a pack, the Crayola ones. They're still good for the money, though. They don't last very long. Um, but I think for the price, they're pretty good. So, yep, this is my little cottage. 
It took a while, but that's because I used colored pencil mostly. And I always forget, especially now that I use marker so much, how much time using color pencil takes versus marker. But I like the overall effect that pencil has, so yeah. I'm really proud of this one. <laughs> I think it came out cute. I would live there. <laughs> and next one is also Johanna Basford which is Joanna's Christmas and I did two which I put one on my Instagram but this one I did not I did this one back in December with Arteza premium color pencils there's some uniball gold metallic and the blue glittery is jelly roll a light blue glitter gel pen and the birds are um fine liner and yeah I like the way it came out I'm eventually gonna complete this whole book <laughs> let's see um, I did this one back in December and I used the Marco Rafine pastel color pencils which I love Marco Rafine pencils <laughs> especially like in Joanna Basford's books because that's what I started out coloring with like Marco Rafines were my first like whole full set of color pencils um so I have a soft spot for them I still have them um but yeah these are just the pastel ones that come in a set by themselves and I like these a lot but I tend to like harder lead color pencils like I'm strange so <laughs> if you don't like them I get it but I think they look nice on that paper. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, next is Creative Haven Beautiful Angels by Marjorie Cernot. And I've had this book since last year. And it's one of those that I hadn't colored in. So this would go towards Color Your Hoard, <laughs> technically. Um, and it's so pretty and I think the reason why I haven't colored I hadn't colored in it yet was because Did I mark it? I did not <laughs> I think the reason why I hadn't colored in it yet was because like it's intimidating, but I Just jumped in <laughs> so this one has a lot of colors in it because the finished one has a lot of colors in it um, That's inside the back cover. So I was like, I'll do that too. <laughs> Um, there's alcohol marker, the color pencil is Arteza Premium and Holbein color pencil, there's like Jelly Roll, um, yeah, it's always really hard for me to figure out like what pencils or whatever I like best on this paper because pencils by themselves, at least for me, do kind of weird things on this paper marker is like totally fine but i might just have to do marker with color pencil on top next next time but i always i always struggle with the colored pencil on this paper even though it's nice paper i don't know why i have such a hard time with it but oh well yeah i think it came out pretty like this is mine and this is the one that was that's in the back that's like already colored this one is actually prettier <laughs> but it was like but you know <laughs> it's fine I didn't want to copy it exactly like I wanted to do my own thing mine looks like kind of like a mess but it's okay it's a fun mess <laughs> so that's that book I'm gonna try coloring 
more books. There are a few books that I haven't touched yet, which is just a waste. Like, I should color in them. I like them. Next is All About Christmas from the Belba family. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what's up with the coughing. Uh, let's see. Try to find it. Oh, I went past it. Oh, here it is. I did this one. Hold on. Let me. I did this one, which is the elves. <laughs> Looks like a giant elf with like the house and the tree and stuff. This one was fun. I started two other ones, but I didn't finish them. Next one is... Hold on. Next one is Mosaic Art Vacations Color by Number by Sachin Sachdeva and I've only done one in this, so I was like, I have to do another. It's crazy. So I did. <laughs> I did this guy on a jet ski. A very colorful jet ski. And this was fun, although <laughs> there was a lot of, like, turquoise <laughs> in this water. I was like, oh no. If I have enough, I hope my pen doesn't run out. But since I only make X's, I, I think it's fine. <laughs> I'm always worried that, like, one specific color that I use in these books is going to run out. And then I'll have to buy a whole new set just for the one color. Because, well, for certain colors. Because they don't, I don't think I've seen certain colors sell, sold individually. But I think the turquoise you can buy individually. Anyway, I'm rambling. This is my jet ski guy. You know what's funny is he's got like a thing over his head and like goggles and I've never seen people ride a jet ski like that. I mean, maybe in jet ski races they do because of like the seawater hitting you, damaging your hair maybe. But yeah. When I first started, I was like, what is this? Because <laughs> all I had was, like, his head. And I was like, is he scuba diving? <laughs> nope. Riding a jet ski. <laughs> it's a cute book. Next book is... Floral... Oh, wait. I have paper in this one. Floral Mandala's Folk Art Style by Debbie Dinsham. And I got this book for my birthday last year. Started this picture and then left it half finished until last month. Or, yeah, last month. And <clears throat> so this is what I did. I used the color palette down here, but I made little dots right here. <laughs> Just for something different. And this is before I had dot markers. So that's why my dots look really uneven, but I still think it gives it a certain charm. So yeah, this was super fun. I just used water-based markers for this one. Next is Belba Family Mystery Mosaics Wow Animals. This is my favorite Belba Family book and I did this one it seemed like it took a really long time to put the green in the background but I think that was just my imagination <laughs> and I did these birds with the cherries I did this picture with Crayola Super Tips. The other picture I did with Stetler Fine Liners. You can probably tell because the X's on this one are a little chunkier 
than when I used the fine liners. But this is really cute. Makes me think of my sister. Because she loves birds. I did this one. Which is the snake with the donuts. I like the colors in this one. I used um, Bic Intensity. And I also used fine liners. For this picture. It looks better when you look at it on camera because it's farther above so you can get like a better sense of it okay two more books <clears throat> we have creative haven enchanted christmas by Teresa goodridge and i love this book i thought it had been out for a while but it's fairly new and I did the Christmas unicorn, which I did a color and chat with. And I used alcohol markers, um, jelly roll glaze for the blue shiny parts, um, stickles, glitter gel pen, colored pencil, um, a silver uniball gel pen, and the Secura White Decoras gel pen, which is my favorite white gel pen. Um, I recommend it. But I'm definitely, <clears throat> maybe I'll do more for Christmas in July. Let's see. Last but not least is A Whimsy Girl's Christmas by Hannah Lynn. And... I did this one, which is the Virgin Mary in the manger holding the baby Jesus. And it's funny because I like, <laughs> I messed up the sky really bad right here. I like, I let the marker dry way too long. So you can see like the, the like line where the marker is because, you know, the alcohol in the marker dried and made a line, but I don't know. I'll just say it looks intentional. I'll, I did it on purpose. <laughs> but um, yeah, I used alcohol marker and colored pencil, which was the Arteza Premium color pencils and little white gel pen to make it look like her halo was shiny. But yeah, I still think it came out really cute. Put colored pencil on her eyes and her cheeks too. So, that is all of the pages I colored in January and December. And here are all my flags. <laughs> so, I will see you guys next time for another video. I'll try not to make it as long between videos. And I will talk to you later. Bye!